Hello investors, this is a video on Tata Steel Long Products Limited. This video is brought to you by Smart Investor. Subscribe to our channel, like and share our videos. Click on the bell icon for new video notifications. The presentation is based on the Q3 FI22 results declared by the company. The company has shown robust results. The crude steel production and steel sales production increased on quarter on quarter basis. The production has reached a second quarter is 168 million tons. Steel production increased by 2% on quarter on quarter and 4% year on year basis despite planned maintenance shutdowns. Steel sales volume increased by 4% quarter on quarter basis with the best ever quarterly results of rolled steel products. Focus on product mix and diversification and enrichment has paid off. Best ever sales in auto component exports segment with 17% quarter on quarter growth. Alloy wire rod improved on quarter on quarter basis on new product development and demand picking up after easing of second wave of COVID-19. The new products launched by the company um, import substitution and mix enrichment includes for a stub axle, HI LRPC grade for driving localization, various sizes for high tensile fasteners, gear parts, various for coil spring applications. The company continued to deliver it with strong FCF generation. Total revenues from operations has gone up by 1,637 crores. Raw material cost has gone by 1,032 crores. EBITDA is 302 crores. Profit after tax is 135 crores. The key drivers for quarter on quarter growth revenues increased with improved steel and DRI realizations, partially offset by lower DRI revenues and volume. Raw material cost increased primarily. So, the change in inventories inventory value increased primarily with higher prices, generated strong cash, free cash flows for the company of 368 crores driven by stronger operating performance along with focus on working capital control. The company has achieved continued deleveraging net tech declined to 338 crores from 3,551 crores at the time of acquisition. Gearing included 0.11x for second quarter FI22. The big positive for the company is takeover of Nilachal Ispat. Tata Steel announced that Tata Steel Long Products, a subsidiary of the company, is a winner of the bid given by Government of India, Deepam. Proposed to acquire 93.7 stake in the 1 million ton per annum Nilachal Ispat Nigam Limited. Tata Steel growth in flat products would be pursued through the Kalinganar and Mera Mandali sites in Odisha. Apart from existing capacity in Jamshedpur, Nilachal Ispat will become the hub for its long product business in the future. Located in the close proximity of Tata Steel world class site at Kalinga Nagar, this is a strategic acquisition with a production capacity of 1 million tons per annum, steel making capacity. The facility includes 2500 acres of land for future growth. The company has iron ore reserves of around 100 metric tons. This acquisition provides a significant opportunity for to restart work immediately to build a 4.5 million tons per annum long product complex in the next few years. The company plans to further expand it to 10 million tons per annum by 2030. This acquisition is critical for Tata Steel to build a dedicated long products complex which will also be the best position to leverage synergies with the shared infrastructure of Tata Steel in the close by area. Tata Steel is endeavor to utilize its expertise in operating excellence, mining and project management to transform Nilachal into a state-of-the-art competitive and sustainable enterprise in the future. The long product segment in India is poised for a very big growth. A significant growth is expected as India-based infrastructure and industrialization. Tata Steel will leverage its capability in the long product business using its strong brand equity particularly in the retail construction segment and its extensive pan-India retail and distribution network will help scale profitability in long products. 
This acquisition also facilitates growth in downstream solutions and specialty high-end products catering to customers in the construction, heavy engineering, and automotive space. FIS have increased the stake in the company in the last four quarters. Mutual funds have remained the same in the flat. The returns of the company include 6.8% uh, growth in one year, a negative 31% in six months, 13% in one month, and negative 12% in the last three months. Promoters holding is substantially there at 75%. MF and FIS hold the balance along with public and others. Why are we recommending Tata Steel long products? The company is a leading player in long products and the products demand is growing rapidly. The takeover and integration of Neelachal Expert is a big positive. The script is only for long term investors. We do not expect any growth in the short term uh, six to nine months. The script had a year high of 1173 and a year low of 644. Investors should keep it on the radar and try to buy the shares. When it declines below 700, hold for long term a target price of 2000 in two to three years time frame. Thanks for watching the video.